Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are Judas today. Uh, curse room is relevant. We're fragile enough for this floor that taking him is acceptable. Just to garret or help keep stuff away. Alright, wishbone. I don't remember what it actually does. No curse of the lost. <coughs> oh, man. I did not see any two. So this is, okay, got to remember to use that energy somewhere. But yeah, this is exactly the kind of room where a little bit of extra crowd control can be the difference between victory and defeat. Not so much when it's just the boss, but when there were all those other dudes, you know, making it so I only needed two shots to kill instead of three. Okay, that's really good because it gives us um, two soul hearts. In addition to a second heart container for trading. And I have to, uh, oh, that was terrible. Thought I'd gotten out of the way. Uh, all right, tinted rock. Another. This sacrifice room because remember we've already got the key so we're going to make a save anyway I guess I think this increases the drop rate on um, just soul hearts versus regular hearts say which of these is going to be better to hit, but um, the fact that, that one gave me a bomb means I can go blow up the other one too. Okay, good, I timed it, okay. Almost got hit there, gave me a bomb again. Um, there are two equally likely places for a, super, or for a regular seeker room. And probably two equal places for a super seeker room, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be using the bomb to look for those. And there was poop in the way that I forgot about. Two charges on this guy? Yeah. Slightly, but it didn't actually matter. 
Oh, I thought I was one shotting this. Crap. Alright, so I need another soul heart badly. I really wish they would make a like an actual save that the algae could be useful later. Yeah, I really wish they would make an actual like goblin. from a couple of years ago just wasn't. I don't remember what the problem was, but it just didn't feel like Gauntlet. And then the one, like, Seven Sorrows was just awful. Like, it was so ridiculously ungodly. Change one health up into another health up. Awesome. And take Yarrow with me for later. <clears throat> okay, this can be super useful. Alright, 
strength could be useful. Probably not as useful as quality. May as well take equality because I don't have another trinket, basically. I hate how that doesn't even kill those gray spiders. Uh, don't really want crack the crack to die. Alright, good little brimstone head. One or two more hits, there we go. So glad the green ones don't become news that I have to deal with. Yeah, I actually haven't gotten any damage or tears up yet. So like, the entirety of my DPS increase is thanks to um, Definitely not the super secret. Uh, Guppy's hairball, the friendly fly, and little brimstone and harlequin baby. All right, yeah, I definitely want to go to the shop. Causes random, uh, like charm and fear in enemies, I think. But you know, no way of knowing. There's no way of triggering it on purpose. Yeah. 
and it's just friggin' speed up. No double room. Just lucky that wasn't drowned caves. And it's not a dirty room, so this—it's not going to be helpful at all unless I manage to get something decent from the two things. Not worth two bombs. second fly item. Oh, yeah. Hey. After I've already you know, opened the doors. Maybe I'll, uh, yeah, this is Depths 1. There's a chance I can learn to fly. Although there's no chance I find the Bible because I've already been to the... Or I've already so, hanged man card. Um, devil room item. I could get the key and then I could open those chests and everything. So that would be nice, actually. Okay. Almost went down too quickly. Uh, I have enough hearts. Guppy item's always good. That's always good. May as well use my bomb on this. Lots of money. Might have to buy a bomb. Okay. What? Oh, yeah. Duh, the hairball. I didn't even notice this room. May as well do that because I'll get a full charge by the time the room's over. Okay, so I can fly. I can also top off my health in the bed in the room down here.
perks is good to know about. Okay, tears up means I'm actually going and blowing up the vanity to see if there's another one. Because that is the first, like, actual damage up I've gone. No. Or DPS up, I should say. Probably a, you know, not great decision, but whatever. Anything. Okay, this room could be super useful. Okay. That would have been really annoying if I had accidentally blown up the TNT barrel. Maybe not, I could have done with that. Although I would have wasted a bomb on it, and that would have been much worse. Okay, good. Got three bombs out of that, so that was worth it. Alright, brownie. So we deal with... Take this because trading it away would be nice. Rather than using three soul hearts. Oh man. I'll take the book. Just, you know, make sure I survive. Uh, several floors with no... Like, I've been short enough on keys and I have zero luck. I'm not going to take Guppy's tail because I already am Guppy. or something, where it's like technically worth it, except for the time it would take to actually gather it all up. went in thinking, oh, I've already found stuff, may as well just go, but the item room's here, and the item room's terrible, so unless I find a pair throw, or... I don't think there's a room left where I would be able to find the D6, because it would either be in the item room, or like, I think it can show up in a challenge room, like just on a pedestal. Hopefully I get a couple of bombs back out of this. I got one bomb back, but I did get a fairly good trinket. So, I'm calling that probably worth it. Getting extra hits off the same number of projectiles is... Okay, there 
there's a curse room. that before I, like the room finishes so I gain the charge from the room don't open that on accident right, and there we go and then I waste the key on it anyway on accident All right, the only like good place for a secret room is right here I got the bomb back at least. I have already blown up a keeper. But I got lazy. Wow, it doesn't usually spawn three things all at once. Curse of the Maze is probably not going to matter very much. It'll just make traversal slightly more annoying. And then I bounce him right back onto me on accident. Okay. Ah. Uh, as it decides to respawn at exactly the worst time. That looks like a secret. going to need one more bomb to blow that guy up. A death card isn't enough to kill a brain. Really? Still takes like three tears afterward. Uh, oh, okay. I was about to say, dang it, no bomb, but a tears up is better than a bomb. I am going to the dark room, so I don't care about keeping the negative active the way I care about keeping the Polaroid active. Alright, better double room chance, but no. <clears throat> Bomb returned from blowing up the watch it. Alright, thankfully, being guppy makes this a lot easier than it would otherwise be. Even though it's the womb one. Ah. Yeah. So, uh, what you call it? Teleported me a room past where what was safe. Even though I thought I was going to be in the safe room. And then those two decided to explode in a basically an unescapable pattern. Unless I had backed out of the door, but I didn't. Looks like a super secret. Sure. Just use that. Dodge the tentacle. Alright, okay, that's the boss. 
so I can blow up the beggar and raise my double the chance to 90 or whatever it becomes. Good, got a bomb. Infamy is amazing. Too bad my luck is actually negative. So I don't think that's going to you know, trigger very often. about to say, I'm not sure how I dodged all those, but then it turns out I didn't, and then that was just annoying. No devil room. Dang it. 75% chance. Fails. Curse of the Unknown. Well, I have three heart containers. Now that I have positive luck, the first time I'll run, hopefully it'll work out for me. <sighs> okay. Well, three heart containers and now an eternal heart. keys I will gladly go inside pick up a couple of those one of those a good trinket actually cool got two bombs out of that two more rooms then I'll go pick up that um oh and of course there's only one room this direction just to maximize the amount of backtracking I have to do
bunch of places for the super seeker room yet again. Oh, there's tarot cloth again. Good. Sure. And of course it takes me to the furthest corner of the Can't be the secret room. Okay. Well, at least I didn't leave the Yarrow room in there. Complete accident. Although I guess I would have just lost another heart to leave. You know, I would have hermited out and left the Yarrow behind. Yeah, so unless I can get rid of two heart containers, I'm not getting into the. I have a 100% double room chance. I didn't. I was desperately trying to maximize my double room chance and forgot that it, you know, didn't matter. Because whether I blow up the keeper or not. I think the hairball blocked that one because I didn't flash like it was in for me. I'm actually at full health. All right, well, I have two plus the hat, okay. So, I'm down to two and a half. One and a half, and one. Okay, Gimpy's good. This actually takes me down to, I'm still at full health. Yeah, that should uh, take me down to, or actually, I gave enough health to him that I'm at half a heart now, I think. So, that was my first actual damage up. And I'm pretty sure that whoosh, the last time I hit him was the negative activating. Because the first hit took, you know, the eternal heart and then half of a heart. And then the other two each, you know, took him down to, you know, whatever. Curse of Darkness, always annoying on this floor. Tears up. Okay, I'm maxed. One makes you small is good. my flies can deal with the enemies. I don't know. Okay. Random exploding enemy opened up. Or generated a soul heart for me. I already beat him once, so I'm fine. Not gonna mess with getting another. So the negative isn't nearly as useful <clears throat> as the Polaroid, but I'm not going to just like go out of my way to mess it up, basically. Sure. Money to bomb. Bomb's good. Useful. Definitely don't need the um, heart there. Or Bob's rotten head. Uh, okay. Well, oh, too bad that cost a heart.
That bomb took forever to explode and followed me like twice as far as I was expecting. Mr. Mega, I might be able to use the bombs. Alright, then the floor. Could be a super seeker. It's the best spot for a super seeker. that it's obviously in such a weird spot that, you know, there's no point even looking for it, and I actually picked up that half a heart that was right inside the door there. Alright, curse the lost. But it doesn't matter if I don't get hit. There's another room. Maybe he'll give me something reasonable. Sure. That makes Gimpy and infamy better, plus gives me a better chance of getting chests and extra more. And that took me one space too far now. Maybe I'll get a double room teleport from one of the red chests and next floor and I'll be able to, you know, spend this R container on something. <clears throat> didn't have Guppy. Okay. Alright, well, I can take, uh, perks into the Mega Saiyan fight. Aside from the booger tears that I got, like this, was it last floor, two floors ago? I haven't had a single, you know, like, cool tear effect. Okay, 
that should be the also bomb. Yeah. So if they um summon something else at me. Or, I don't remember if any of the things that Mega Saiyans summon summon flies, but if they do, then I will not be affected by his buttons. I'm our, that doesn't let you get past five tier Because the spiders are invulnerable until they touch the ground, the chain reaction finished before they were hit, which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, no way am I taking a freaking cursed eye. Alright, so now just up to the boss fight. I don't remember how booger tears work with um Mega Saiyan. I use that before I trigger it so I don't forget about it. But now the revenge fly is just wrecking him, along with all the boogers I can build up on his face. Oh, I used the book apparently. Huh. 931st isn't bad. Hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would, and I'll see you guys next time.